Right, so here we are. Uh, this is now the MX Y2 and 125s uh, brought to you by Bell and Race FX. So we'll wait for them just to come over the line. They're coming through now. I'm just going to get my speed hive working, just like you guys can do back at home as well. And I want to just say to you that um, the Planet Moto first lap award is relevant in this one too. I'm just trying to get my Speed Hive app working. So you can do this at home as well. Make sure that you're up to date on the racing. Obviously, we, do, we don't have the, uh, the racing on the screen today. It's uh, one of the uh, lovely things about Hawks so far. Let me just get this back up. So right, there we are. It was Jude Morris that crossed the line first. Uh, just had to dig out some uh, old results from yesterday because um, signal problems arise at all. So um, that's, just, that's just what happened. We get my sheet up as well. So get my information on it. So just following now, Jude Morris and then the 22 of Charlie Heyman on the 125. They're battling it out. Load of body English going over the big, the famous. Um, jump there under the Hawkstone Bridge. So these two are really going to get it going. Heyman, obviously on that 125, feeling a little bit better um, after Fat Cat. He was, uh, he was beat up, you know, he, he had some, uh, some injuries following the Fat Cat. Uh, well, he went into there with a bit sore. So today we're probably going to see Charlie Heyman at nearly 100%. I know he's still saying that he's got some pulled muscles, but he's still, um, he, you know, he's good. He, he feels good. And yesterday he had a great day. So he wants to definitely be at the front of this MXY2 race. Um, he doesn't care whether he's, he's racing the 125s. In his mind, he wants to win this moto out of both the classes outright because that's what Charlie Heyman is about. Right. There on the Kawasaki. Just going to get the names right in front of me now. I think that's Ben Clark uh, there on the on the on the Kawasaki on the Phoenix Tools Kawasaki um, again. Uh, if, if, I'm, if, if I'm not correct, then uh, you can shout me out. I'm really struggling trying to just watch the screen and uh, and having no time in here. So we will get this uh, get this back working on our end. the minute Jude Morris oh big nearly a big big crash uh, but just managed to come out of that uh, slightly unscathed then on the Kawasaki there uh, so Heyman now hunting down Jude Morris really pushing it pushing that SJP moto KTM to its limits um, spoke to his dad yesterday you know family pumped with how he's doing at the minute, you know, obviously that catch was a bit of an issue for them, but he's feeling good and ready to go now, and you can see it visibly in the young Charlie Heyman, and when I say young, that kid is actually still a kid, um, he's very, very young, 15 years old, I believe, and uh, he's really ripping at the minute, pushing, breathing down the back of Jude Morris, both drag racing up the hill, 250 F has just got the legs on the 125, uh, going up there, uh, especially in that deep, deep sand at the bottom. Jeff, we've got no timing. Oh, okay, right. 
te I'll tell you what, this, anybody, please, uh, British Telecom, Open Reach, uh, Some, anybody. Somebody, if you were there. Anybody, come and get a mast. Yeah, or a, a cable, a big <laughs> cable, you know, whatever. Um, yeah, absolute nine foot nightmare. Okay, well, I mean, there is Have obviously timing is being recorded. It's just that we can't get to, to see it because of the because of the Wi-Fi and 4G, 5G, whatever signal here at Hawkstone. So uh, we can do it. We can uh, we can do it by visuals. We we'll guide you through it. So obviously, I was down there doing the winners circle interviews. Who's, who bring me up to speed here then? Who's leading? Right, okay. So we've got, I mean, I have had to do it from these sheets. So we've got Jude Morris out in the lead and he took the Planet Moto uh, first lap as well. Brilliant start to the race. And we have got the 22 of Heyman absolutely running him down at the minute. Scrubbing speed off, really, Brilliant. really pushing that, that uh, SJP Moto 125 to its limits. Um, and uh, I, I believe Ben Clark, is he 127? Two no, seven. no, he's 227. Well, uh, well, that's, that's Sam Atkinson, 127 on Sorry, the Phoenix yeah. Tools. Yeah, so Sam, Kawasaki. Sorry, Sam Look Atkinson. at these two go at it. Sam They're, Atkinson had a, had a bit of a, a moment. He was with these guys, uh, pushing him along, and he had a crash. See Heyman bounce off the top of it. Right, let me bring you up to speed, as Callum probably already has, but just to reiterate, this is a 250 machine racing a 125. They're in the same age group, so they're in the MXY2, but it's being scored separately. So effectively, they're both leading their class. Correct. But this is a pride thing. This is a pride thing. I said, Heyman, he, Heyman wants to win this race just as much as Jude Morris does not want a 125 passing him. Yeah. You know, it's uh, it, it goes both ways, doesn't it? And it looks like- Alfie Jones Alfie is catching Jones, them up. yeah. The man, the man mountain. The man mountain. But well, yeah. he's not huge, but he's just so strong. strong. These are these are man children, aren't yeah. they? You know, they are man. Well, Heyman into the lead now. Yeah. So Jude Morris making a little bit of an error there, just about when they go up the hill. And now. he has now got. See, now you've got Elfie racing him now. Elfie for the lead. Really. Yeah, effectively for the lead in the MXY2 category. Mm. And uh, those guys are tight on the championship. Uh, basically, Elfie Jones is. Uh, well, Jude Morris didn't actually get a great opening round so Elfie is effectively um, putting himself in a position to go back into the championship lead as yeah, it currently stands. Do. I've noticed something that... Uh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Did he crash? Yeah, Tr oh, Heyman's down. Heyman's, Heyman's down. down. Came up short, got cross rutted, clipped the top and he goes down and just like oh. that, that's motocross that right motocross. there. You think you're doing great. It's all under control and then sore. bang. He looks sore. He's still well, he's leading sore his anyway. Yeah, he was. Um, I've noticed one thing, I was going to say it before then, Alfie Jones, he's staying out of these deep, if you watch him, staying out of these deep ruts a lot of the time and maintaining a lot of momentum around the outside of the corners of this circuit. He's trying to avoid some of the inside lines where they can just, you know, where it can rob speed. Um, so at the moment, Alfie Jones looking really good and he's, and he's actually made up a lot of time on Jude Morris. He has indeed. Uh, so this is we're following this battle. This is for not only the race win, but also for the race win in the in the 250 class. Alfie launching clearly over the, the knuckle there into the sandpit. Look at those ruts over that big jump as they come down. That, that the circuit used to go straight on there and run all the way across to the finishing up the hill back in the glory days. Yeah, Talk about being fast. Could you imagine that? Cool. I bet it, did you do that circuit? Yeah, actually, I did, yeah. And then they changed it, I think, in the early 90s. Yeah, I remember seeing some pictures of it like that. It used to just frighten me looking at yeah, it. Yeah, it was a famous jump along that straight called the Girling Leap by Girling Gas Shops. It was uh, some famous old pictures littered even behind us. There's one there in the booth. I wouldn't fancy doing it on one of those bikes. So we're following this. This uh, the I don't. Hopefully everybody. Here we are. We're back in the. We're back on with Speed Hive. Back in business. So I hope uh, everybody following at home. We can only apologise. It's out of our control. It is literally down to phone signal and broadband here. It's it's not great for that. So please bear with yeah, us. We're pe doing people saying, oh, well, you. I sit. I noticed someone said you, you, the stream's coming out fine. I'm like, yeah, yeah, but the stream's being run by a satellite. Yeah, so that's what we're having to do to get yeah. it to work. So yeah, slightly different system. Getting the, the two to talk together. Just so like the running order before Heyman crashed. I don't know if he's still in the lead. Is he? Is I he think remounted? He will be. I think he is. You know. Yeah. He, he, he had he, such he, a big he, lead. 
So Charlie Heyman is still, even after that get-off, leading the 125s on his SJP Moto KTM, ahead of Bailey Johnson. Then it's George Hopkins for fourth. Rafe Broadley is in. Rafe Broadley's now up to third. George Hopkins fourth. Then it's Reese Ross, Charlie Reynolds, Joseph Leakes in seventh. Ari Elcott is in eighth, ahead of Ashton Barlow. Then it's Jude Turnton and Charlie Griffiths, 11th. That was the, uh, so yeah, then we've got uh, Charlie Griffiths now back to 12th, actually being pushed down by Jaden Haig. So it's all changing in that class in the 250s that you're watching at the head of the field. Here it is. The style master. Jude Morris. <laughs> we got any information on Jude? Yeah, he's from Corth Castle in Dorset. Nice. Yeah, down, down my neck of the woods, down, well, I'm, yeah, nearby. Uh, so he's basically from down there. And uh, let's just see where have I, I've lost him on my little. There he is. Uh, he says his team name is Dad and me are the team. <laughs> <laughs> um, there you go. Fair play. Uh, but he has got support from uh, Salisbury Will, Will oh, Builders. Oh, Alfie Jones try, just trying to make the pass up the inside then. Uh, maybe that was just too brash. There's a lot of back markers in the way, and he nearly got it, but it, uh, he had oh, to back out. He'd he be like a dog on a bone. Don't oh, you yeah. worry about that. Jude Morris cannot afford to relax one bit. So, yeah, he's uh, supported by Salisbury Wheel Builders, DP Pipes, and FE UK. So it's good to have Jude with us. His favourite track is Cuss's Gorse, uh, and we go in there for the final round. So yeah. if he's in contention, he'll be happy with that. His favourite rider is Ken Roxon. So, uh, yeah, his favourite food is homemade pizza. So if they're that good, Jude, yeah, well, uh, <laughs> knock uh, them you, up, bring them to the race. You know where we are. So uh, Jude's mom and dad listening, or even if Jude makes them, we're in the booth, get one in the oven. You know it makes sense. <laughs> so this is a great battle in this MXY2, brought to you by Bell and Race Effects. It's uh, going to go to distance, this one, I reckon. Alfie Jones has just got held, hung up a little bit. It's not just them battling, though. Yeah. No. I'm battling for team. Here we go. Jones, up. Jones in the inside. Has he done it? No. No, no way. But he's shown that. Now it's up to Jude to get through this lap traffic. Look at him going right down the pipe between two riders. So. That's the worst thing when you're leading and you know you've got somebody literally breathing your yeah. exhaust fumes. Very tricky. And, and, and I think it's sometimes it's better for the guy in second because you come up on the back markers first. Of course, yeah. And, and then they know, oh God, the leaders are coming through so they can sort of get out of the way for the, for, for the guy in second. So this might pay into the hands of... So there they are, the race leaders into the into About the sandpit. Jones is still right there. They are wringing the neck out of these bikes, aren't they? This is gonna be a good race. What have we got? We've only got 9.22 on the clock. This one, uh, if I remember rightly, is a, was it, 16 minute moto? could be an 18 it's an 18 plus one plenty of time just going past us now right in front of our, our area they are flat out they've checked out sam atkinson on the phoenix tools apico who is no slouch. kawasaki he had an incident on the first lap didn't he i he missed did. that quite a big crash uh, but well it was a big crash but he got away with it it was one of them ones that was like that should have been worse than it was so he did get the people were looking down on him he got away with that one still the battle rages between jude morris and alfie jones <laughs> bailey johnson takes the lead in the 125 as well so pushing charlie Heyman back Heyman's four seconds behind Johnson uh, now, so uh, Charlie has lost the position. Um, and Bailey Johnson capitalising on Charlie making a mistake. Yeah, well, that was a, that was that could have been worse for Charlie. I mean, he could have gone high-sided. Yeah. Um, oh dear, Alfie Jones is starting to get a bit loose and impatient now. The man-child coming in, coming in strong. It's a great race. These two, uh, well, I said, shame Sam Atkinson crashed because I'm sure he would have been in the mix because he's a very good we sand have, rider as well. We're having to keep the cameras on this, though, because, uh, you know, we, we know fireworks could spark between these two. 
Yeah, it's uh, fair play to Jude Morris at the minute. He is withstanding the pressure exceptionally well. He would have been told on his pit board, no doubt, by his dad that uh, Elfie is right there. They get all the information. Remember, in motocross, there's no communication directly to rider. There's no fancy, you know, head comms or anything like that. They get all their information from each lap from a pit board which is just past the finish area. You we, may you, you may even it. see it. It'll be good to see if we can see what's written on the pit board. Let's, sit, let's read some of them out. We could probably get some info on them from where So we when they come over the finish line, they go round the pit signaling area and you can maybe see, here we go. So there's Jude. lines. They're saying lines. Lines. There we go. You just missed it. So Elfie Jones got where's, said, where's there you are, look. 2.30, last, last push. Clinton Putnam is there. 2.30 to go, last push, come on. <laughs> Clint. He absolutely loves it. Think traffic yeah. going to Atkinson. All these things, yeah, you see, there you go. There's, a, there's all varying it's pit signals. little reminders, isn't it? The one that drove me mental is uh, Breathe. Oh, it looks like uh, Charlie Heyman is now back in the lead. Yeah. And pushed the number nine of Bailey, Bailey Johnson back into second. So um, he's, well, Heyman doing what he's, what he's got to do. He's doing his job right now and he's got to win this motor. Yeah, this is, a, this is just a great race we're watching here between these two. That, like I said, Elfie Jones will not let go, but he is running out of time. It's going to be one lap to go next time around. It look, he's, he's looking a little bit more untidy as well, Alfie Jones. Maybe he's getting a little bit of uh, fatigue, you know, so uh, Alfie Jones starting to not look as neat as he did in the uh, in the opening laps of this one. And Jude Morris may now have just put that, that cushion in uh, between the both of them that he needed. So, I mean... <laughs> Well, we're gonna, it looks like Charlie's going to hold on in the 125s. We'll try and pick them up in a minute, but we just don't want to take the cameras off this battle. It's that good. I was just saying then, though, Jones just starting to look a little bit untidy now um, from what I'm from watching, you know, from observation from where we are. And uh, Jude Morris just remaining his composure. You see what I mean? Like legs off a little bit, starting to maybe lose a bit of patience, which, oh, is, yeah. which can slow you down a little bit. Um, he's really, it looks like he's trying to override the bike, but... Um, he certainly threw it into the sandpit there, a little bit snaky. They're going to get one lap to go board this time around. Here comes Jude Morris 101 on the Salisbury Wheel Builders Honda. There is going to be one lap to go. Uh, so Elfie's going to have to... Uh, he's dropped back, hasn't he? This is, yeah. this is uh, Jude's to throw away now. It is, and, and anything can happen with the lap, with the lap traffic. But I think, uh, I think Jones has just sort of hit a bit of a wall. Um, Jude managed to get a bit of a, like a cushion in, you know, in between the both of them. And he's riding his own race now. Probably the pressure's off the back of him. Um, but he can't relax too much because Alfie Jones will buy it. Because if there's an opportunity, he's going for it. It buys. It'll buy. I wouldn't want to mess with that. No, I wouldn't. He's a big man child. I, I, you know, <laughs> if he got a bit leery with me, I'd be like, yeah, okay, yeah, you win that one. So we're going to grab the winners in the winner's circle uh, when they cross the line. It's just working out who's going to be the winner. Looks like Heyman went down again. Oh, maybe he has. Heyman's he's struggling. Been down again. Yeah, he's, made, he's sort of gesturing to his dad there that he's got some kind of issue, either with goggles or he's in pain. Yeah, dad, dad not too, uh, not too pumped with that. Things can happen, can't they? It's, uh, God, maybe wanting it too much. Sometimes you can want it too much. Um, oh, Rafe, is that Rafe Broadley pulling in as well? He's got, he's throwing his arm, you can't see it on the screen, so we're trying to bring you up to speed with everything that's going on. Rafe Broadley pulls out of this one, number 72, and I don't know why. No. If it's a bike issue. Bike's still going. That's, I don't know what's happened there. Oh, the gas cap's come off. Oh the my fuel, the fuel God. Cap's come off. He's got I've, no fuel. I've never seen that. Fuel cap. So <laughs> Rafe's fuel cap has come loose and splashing fuel all over himself and the bike. So he's had to pull out of this one, and he was in, Rafe was in third in the 125s. Get some fuel in it and get back out. Uh, well, he can't, he can't, he ain't got a cap to put on it. Anyway, this is uh, Jude Morris bringing it home by the looks of it. Uh, Callum, do you want to make your way down there and grab these yes, guys? no problem.
So there it is, a Moto win for Jude Morris in the 250 class, 101. Callum's going to go down there and grab him, get some words. Uh, whether we grab the 125 winner as well, we'll have to wait and see uh, on a time constraint. It says Charlie Heyman, but I think it's going to be Bailey Johnson come the flag that's going to take the race win. It looks like it. Let me just wait for Speed Hive to update. Here comes off screen Bailey Johnson. You'll see him come into view on the screen anytime now. There he is, Bailey Johnson, number nine over the line. So, I'm just waiting for that to refresh. But as far as I know, he took the race win in the 125s because Heyman definitely had an issue that last lap. So that one was brought to you by Bell and Race Effects. We are now going to pass down to Callum anytime soon with the race winner, Jude Morris. In the meantime, there's our incredibly dedicated checkered flag man, Barry Ward. You can even see he's got checkered flag gloves. I wouldn't go as far to say that he's probably got checkered flag underpants. How was that one then? Yeah, it was good. I got off to a good start, got into, got a hole shot and um, led for about the first three laps. I had Charlie on my back wheel, uh, made a slight mistake coming out of pit lane and he got by. So I followed his lines for a lap and kept pushing him until he ended up making a mistake. Got back into the lead and I had Alfie Jones on my back wheel and just sort of rode my own race, kept it controlled and did what I had to do. Yeah, Alfie got pretty close, didn't he? But yeah. I think, uh, was it physical out there? It looked pretty... Uh, yeah, it's not too rough, but where it's so slick on the bottom, you just got to really hold the bike Fight tight. Fight in the and, core yeah. all the time. Have you got yeah. any sponsors you want to thank? Uh, yeah, I'd like to thank Salisbury Wheel Builders, uh, Sam Ongley from 723, Bell Helmets, Oki Goggles, um, and just anyone else that helps me cool. get pipes. Thanks so much. Cheers. The race winner of uh, the first moto on the Sunday. <laughs> well done. <laughs> nice pose there, Callum. Nice pose. Okay, so there you go. That was the uh, race winner in the MXY2 category, Jude Morris.